Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we're starting a new series now, it's called Divi for Beginners and we're going to start from scratch and we're going to use this to show you how to build your complete Divi website. So let's get started. In today's video we're going to show you how to brand your site, adding a logo and a favicon. For anybody that doesn't know, obviously the logo is this thing up here. Favicon is the thing that you see in your browser tabs on a lot of browsers, the little icon you see up here. To do this today, I've got two little images. I've got a square logo, and I've got that 678 by 678 pixels. I think the minimum they require is 512 by 512 pixels. And I've got a little logo here too. Mine's 338 pixels wide and 100 pixels deep. Great. Well, let's get this started. First thing I'm gonna do is add the Divi logo. To do that, go down to your dashboard. Once at your dashboard, go on down to Divi. Once you've installed Divi, I'm presuming you've got Divi downloaded and installed here. If not, take a look at our download and install video for Divi. I'll put that down below. Go down to Divi, go to Theme Options. Under the General tab in Theme Options, the first one at the top here is Logo. If we roll over to the right-hand side, We've got a little button that says Upload. Left click on that. And I'm going to drag my logo in here. You can add alt text if you want to. Most images should have alt text. Usually it describes the actual image itself. So it should really say System 22 logo image. And it's for people that don't see very well. Their screen readers will tell them what that image is. A lot of people use it for keywords. Whether or not that still works, I don't know. It's up to you. Once you're happy, hit set as logo. And you can see the URL in there. Hit your little save changes button. Great. Now if we visit the site, we should have that little logo up there. And there it is. Fantastic. Just what we wanted. Now if you want to adjust the size of this logo, if you decide it's too wide or too deep for you, you can do that in the theme customizer. Let's go back to the dashboard here. And we've got theme customizer just down below here. And we've also got it in appearance and customize. They'll both take you to exactly the same place. This is going to open up this page for us, which is going to display the home page and the header for us right here. If you want to change the size of the logo you just put in there, roll on down the header and navigation. This is our primary menu bar right here. If we go into primary menu bar and we roll down, we've got logo max height here. You can adjust this to make your logo bigger or smaller. Really easy to do. Just set it how you want it when you're happy. Make sure you hit the publish changes. Great, well, we're all set with our logo and by default, that will always link to your home page when they click on it. Let's add our little site favicon and make this our own now. We do that in our theme customizer that we're already in here. So let's go back. And we'll go back again. And we're going to go under general settings this time. First tab at the top here is site identity. Now here we can give our site a title right here and as you can see mine is just called d24 for divi24 so let's call i'm just going to call it divi and the tagline is what's going to appear beside it up there on your home page and you can have different taglines for each of your pages and let's just say web design tutorials obviously whatever you want to put on yours now down below you see site icon and it tells you here your icon wants to be square, and it wants to be at least 512 by 512 pics. That's for devices that have large logo resolutions on them. So like I say, I've got one here, mine's slightly bigger than that. Mine's a PNG, which means the background is transparent. So whatever color the tab is, you're just going to see the 22 in the little circle there. So let's upload that. We'll hit the select site icon button. 
Now let's drag that icon up to our little media library. Again, put in whatever alt text you want to put in, caption description if you want to, and hit select when you're ready. Now, if you've put something up there, it gives you the opportunity to crop it. I'm happy with mine because mine's square with that round image in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the crop image button. And as you can see, it's changed our little logo up there. Let's go back to our site now and refresh this page. And we've got our new little favicon up there. We've got our site title and we've got the little tagline there. So there we are, guys. There's how to brand your site. We've added a logo. We've added a favicon or a site icon. And we've added a little tagline. Looks like I've got to adjust that. Let's go back into there. Look at a little gap there between the E and the B. Let's change that and publish it. And we should be good to go. Now, if you don't know how to download and install the Divi theme, I'll put a link to that video below in the video description. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and ring the bell. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.